hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another youtube video so i'm super super excited about today's video because we're going to london it's going to be another london come shopping with me vlog which i'm super super excited about so i'm just going to get ready now to go um i just had a really exciting delivery from anna luisa jewelry who are kindly sponsoring today's video so thank you guys so much anna luisa um i just wanted to open it and show you guys i'm literally obsessed um so it basically comes just in like this very plain just little brown box which you're probably thinking like it's a bit weird um basically Anna Luisa massive in sustainability so literally from the sourcing of the materials of the products to the disposal of the products it's 100% carbon neutral which I think is absolutely amazing um it's really really great to buy from a brand which has got such good ethos and it's like really into their sustainability so I feel like it just makes it even nicer to shop somewhere that not only sells amazing products but it's also really into their sustainability so I picked three items from the website and I got I literally struggled to pick three because they have so much stunning like just gorgeous jewelry like if you guys know me I'm literally so big into my jewelry like I absolutely love it and I do struggle to find jewelry that's sort of and it's still an affordable price like not absolutely ridiculous price and that's like nice and will last me quite a lot of years a lot of the jewelry you can get sort of like costume jewelry and it just like tarnishes really quickly and that's normally the sort of styles i prefer rather than sort of classic jewelry which is more expensive so i do find it really hard to find like really good long lasting nice fashionable jewelry but i feel like anna luisa is literally like that middle ground and it is literally amazing so i'm just going to show you guys what i picked up i've actually already opened this it comes everything comes in this gorgeous little pouch these gorgeous little pouches a little felt pouch um what we got first so the first thing i picked up was a bracelet um so it's this gorgeous sort of like little flower detail really dainty like just gold bracelet i don't know if you're going to focus and show you i'm going to put all these on so i'll show you guys properly but it's just like it's just so simple so dainty it's just got like some little flowers on it it's got an adjustable loop so it will fit whatever your wrist size is um and i'm just obsessed with this i feel like i'm just gonna wear this every day I'm not even gonna take it off probably it's just gonna be comfortable really good for layering um i probably would wear this like just summer and winter um i feel like it's maybe a bit more of a summer piece and um, would look gorgeous if you've got like bare arms but then equally for a night out with like a gold watch i feel like it would just look gorgeous so yeah i'm obsessed with that i'll put on the screen all of the styles of the jewelry that i picked because i can't really remember the names um and also the price as well i'll put a link to the website in the description box because like i said the selection they have is insane so you guys all know i'm really into my chunky rings my chunky gold sort of like statement pieces um and i got that ring from tesco which is sort of like discolored now but i came across this which is literally even nicer than that ring and it is just such a stunning staple classic so it's this gorgeous little sort of like a, i don't know how well you guys can see so yeah it's just like a gorgeous gold chunky ring and i just love at the moment just wearing one ring on my hand i feel like it just makes it look things look so much more dressy like already how much is that adding to the outfit not this outfit but you know what i mean like just adds so much like interest to your hand and i love this it fits perfectly i got a size seven i think um, I wasn't too sure what ring size I was. I think they do have a size guide on the website. But I think they say to go for your shoe size and your ring size. I'm a size 7, so I went for a size 7. Um, and it fits perfectly. Like, there's enough room. So I'm literally obsessed with this. I think it looks stunning on its own. Um, it would look stunning with other sort of layered jewellery as well. Like with that little brace that I just showed you. I literally am obsessed with it. Um, I love that I can just wear it all the time. Because it's... I think all of the metals that they use are very, like really good like source metals like they're brass and and they're 14 karat gold plated which means they're not going to tarnish which i think is amazing so i'll be keeping this for years it's just so stunning i'm obsessed okay guys so the final thing i picked up was a gorgeous necklace and um, it's actually like a layering necklace i've got two like little parts to it um and i already tried this on it so it's got hair stuck in it so i just had to like spend five minutes trying to get the hair out of it um but it's this gorgeous sort of like black square gold pendant i don't know how well it's going to pick up on camera like i said i'm going to try all of these stuff on anyway and show you guys um how it properly looks on uh, i don't know how well you guys can see but it's literally so stunning it's so simple it's just such like a timeless design and my granddad actually has like a little um ring with this same sort of stone in it i can't remember what the stone is but he's got like exact same sort of like matching so that was just really really nice like a little touch just reminds me of him as well um so I feel like I would just love wearing this like on its own or I'm going to show you guys the little other 
part you get to it as well which means you can layer them um so i'll put a picture on the screen of how it looks and then i'll put it on myself but basically you get like that plain chain with the little square black pendant and then you also get this layering chain as well which is adjustable um and it's like a really nice link it's very unusual it's like not a it's not really thin and it's not thick it's just got a really nice pattern to it super sparkly i don't know how well you guys can see but i think that one like sits higher up and then this one sits lower down so you can sort of layer them but they're already made like to layer which is really really good because sometimes it's hard to find the right sort of lengths to layer jewelry like i find it really hard sometimes to layer some of my necklaces so i'm so happy i can literally just put that together and i know it's going to look good um, i think this would look stunning for like nights out with, like dresses um like if you're going to wear like a very plunge neckline neckline then it will look gorgeous um or even just like layered over tops in the day i think that's what i'm gonna wear today actually like just this over a layered top um i think it's just gonna look absolutely stunning so thank you guys so much anna luisa so yeah there's absolutely no luxury markups with anna luisa all jewelry starts at 39 dollars i think it is is it pounds or dollars no 39 dollars which i think is super super reasonable for such timeless classic pieces that are not going to tarnish that you can wear literally every day like this is all i want in a jewelry brand and i'm so glad that i've literally found it in anna luisa so you can actually get 10 percent off your order with code bella s10 put that on the screen put it in the description box as well um to save you some money and i feel like i literally would urge you all to check out their website because they've got such stunning pieces i feel like i'll be making another order from there very soon as well so yeah let's get on with the rest of the video um i need to get myself ready so guys like i said we're on our way to london super super excited um we're going to be going to oxford street westfield um hopefully get some nice like homey bits that's all we're sort of looking for need to get a pair of white heels if i can find some um but that's going to be a complete mission and just generally have a look i'm going to look in h&m i want to go in selfridges and yeah it's going to be a really fun day so i'm going to bring you guys along with me you guys know how hard it is for me to film in selfridges so i do not know how much like footage i'll get in there um probably none in selfridges and then westfield's also hard so i don't know what this is going to consist of but i'll bring you guys along with me hopefully it'll be a fun little day out um i just want to show you guys my jewelry which i've got on so i've got on the little you're gonna focus the little ring it literally looks so stunning i'm obsessed with it um and then i also have on and i've also got on this gorgeous little brace i'm so obsessed so thank you guys so much anna louise i'm literally obsessed with this jewelry it just adds so much like just a little golden sparkle to the outfit it just i feel like jewelry like delaney was saying this in her video jewelry just really does dress up the outfit and these subtle little touches just literally make all the difference i also just completely forgot to put on the little um the gorgeous little black pendant um so just put that on as well i think it just looks so cute um i haven't put the two layers on i've only put the longer one on just because of my tops a little bit higher neck so this the shorter one doesn't sit really at the right place but i'm literally obsessed with this it's just such a cute little look so yeah i'm just wearing my little miss pat top um you would have seen this quite a few times i actually need to put a bra on um just like the little white tie side top and then i've also got on my new i don't know if you guys got, i'll probably do an outfit of the day in my sport or somewhere just because it's gonna be so much easier to show you because you'll know it, the mirror situation it's not great is it so that is the plan i need to hurry up we need to leave the situation right now so i'm actually in my bathroom i don't know if you guys have ever seen this sort of room before i'm not sure if you actually have um i just want to show you guys a little close-up of my outfit so i've got my little miss pat white ruche side top detail um top detail top with ruche side detail um you would have seen this in one of my recent hauls with miss pat um i absolutely love this such a good basic and then i've got on another skirt which is coming in miss pat haul very very soon very soon um which i'm literally obsessed with you can dress it up and dress it down um and then you won't be able to see but i've literally got on my boohoo boots which you guys know i wear all of the time and um, it's got like a little split in the skirt as well so it makes it a bit more it's sort of like dressy and casual that's like my favorite sort of vibe at the moment is mixing these sort of like satiny skirts um with like a just sort of like basic top or jumper but yeah i'm obsessed with this let's go because we're gonna be late hello guys i'm at the station um had a bit of a nightmare getting here a lot of things went wrong i literally walked out of my house walked past a bush covered in water and because i'm wearing a satin skirt it literally got soaked and i thought it wasn't going to dry properly and it literally had like water marks all over it went home to go and change it and then by the time i got home it was dry and it was fine so i've literally wasted like another half an hour doing that and then we tried to get money to pay for the car park um we went to go and get changed like we drew out money to go and get changed first shop we went into didn't have any change at all and then we went into another shop and we finally got it and then had to go all the way home and then all the way here. So I've literally wasted like another 45 minutes probably since I last spoke to you. Um, and then we got here, went to pay for the car park and the machine was broke. So I had to drive to another part of the car park 
to pace. It's actually been a nightmare, but we're here now just waiting for the train. I think it's at 11, is it 11.19? for the 11.19 train to London Euston so that is where we're going to go um, and then go to Oxford Street from there um, look around there for a little bit and then go to Westfield I'm just trying to eat these like slightly through my mask just got these these are so good if you guys like gummy sweets I'm literally like gummy sweet obsessed these are really really good like the the, the next bus chewies with no shells the but they're really nice they're like really soft and flavoursome Selfridges, I literally had hardly anything. Uh, I can't really vlog in there because I know they get really annoyed if you vlog in there. But they have like a really cool like vintage section that as you come in with like loads of vintage bags and like it's like their resale like thing. And they had loads of clothes, like loads of bags. They had a deal, had a bag. I tried it on, um, but it was nine ninety and it wasn't even like very good condition. So I was like, do you want to spend nine ninety? Oh, do you want to spend nine ninety on a not good condition deal, had a bag? Station now. And we are going to be going to Westfield. Um, I'm going to get something to eat because I'm really hungry. I'm not sure where we're going, but I'll keep you guys updated. Um, we're going to get something to eat and then we're going to have a look in all the shops there. Just got to sweeps out again. So we're at Oaxaca. Um, we're going to get some lunch. Yeah, I think we're going to get this veggie, um, oh god sorry, ignore my yellow nail for my fake tan. I'm going to get this veggie thing which you get all of those in like a sharing thing and then we're also going to get um, the sustainable battered, oh, sustainable battered fish tacos. It's big, yeah, it's unless it's too big because that might be way too much but I also got a glass of, uh, not a glass of, a bottle of wine as well. Oh. We've literally finished all I want, waiting for the bill. I think she's waiting, she's probably thinking we're going to take ages to finish this wine, we've literally finished it already. And then we ordered like loads of, so we ordered like the set menu of food, oh it might be too much, like just let us know. I ate it all and then we were like, oh god, like thank god that was like just the right amount. And they bought more, we kept bringing more, <laughs> so we had so much. This spot is literally dead my head in, I'm so sorry, it's really getting on my nerves. Um, that wine's gone to our heads, I'm going to go to them now, so be dangerous um, oh my god this spot is literally annoying. so annoying it's so annoying this is what i get for wearing glasses for three days in a row these little spots but yeah that's the plan just finish our food gonna pay and then gonna go actually i'm loving this little necklace it's so cute such like a cute little dainty like it just adds something but it's not too much you know what i mean it's like a thick gold chain yeah, we're gonna go to Harrods Outlet. Um, so I've not been there. I've actually not been there since I've been with my cats, have we? Mm -hmm. So I'm literally just vlogging on my phone because my pop wants to get my camera out, and I don't know if they're like okay with vlogging. Um, but we're gonna go to Harrods Outlet. H and M. Don't know. I'll bring you guys along with me. It's a really fun. White company. I used to not really apply my lipstick, but it's not really much point because it's for my mom. Got some off white. How much is it? Uh, oh, good. Thank you. It is. It was 6.50. 3.19, that's not that bad. That's stunning. Look, it's like paint by numbers. <laughs> oh my God, I love. What's the front? Oh no, it's a bit long though. I love this blazer. That is so nice. This whole suit. Oh my God, yeah, I love that. 5.50 still though. May have made a purchase in Harrods, which I'll show you guys when I get home. I'm um, just in Zara now, I'm gonna try and come a little bit. We've got something for a cash, even though he wasn't even here. Still managed actually. to buy more than me today. He was here virtually, yeah. So let's kind of have a look. What they've got. I, I like that, and the similar one I got on. 
These are really fashionable actually, these. You know the loafer style, you know the yeah, Delaney's got a no only from I. That actually looks quite nice as a set, how yeah, they've got that. It's like cropped. I actually really like that. Mm -hmm. Grey though. Sure, grey. And more of a beige. Sofa. Nice. Mm. That's so soft. No, I really like those lamps. Mine too. Nice. Yeah, I love. Oh my god, that little chair. Oh, no. I love those lamps. I love the lamps. It's a bit yellow. Seven ninety nine. Good price. Yeah. I love these glasses so much. They might be Love Island in like a more classy way. These are so cute. Oh my god, I love them. I still like a bit of a lighter wash. All this wooden stuff is so cute. I love the shopping board. Right, so I'm looking a bit disheveled with the mask. Um, I've been vlogging on my phone up until now, so I've just gonna pick up the camera. And um, we'll just stop for some appetizers because we're literally dying of thirst, like literally dying. We've literally already finished it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got when I get home. I've already got, I've only got one thing, literally most of the stuff I've bought is for a cash. Oh yeah, we've got Wittars off as well, but I'm gonna go to H&M. We're gonna go to H&M now, see so what they've got at H&M. Um, so I've got my white heels, which is actually really good because that's what I came for. Um, I really want to get like a little dressy top or a crop blazer, they're the other two things I'm really looking for. Um, what else do I want it for? Check shirt, yeah I might get, I saw a really nice check shirt in Urban um, Outfitters, so I might actually go and get that because so I really, really like that. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure. We'll see what else we've got at H&M, I don't want to like commit because it's like 46 pounds and it's like quite a lot for check shirt, but it's really, really nice. Hello guys, sorry I completely forgot to vlog, got to keep you guys updated, but I'm literally on my way home now. And may have spent a lot of money, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna do a haul when I get home anyway, like either I'll probably do it tomorrow since it's really late now. Um, I'll do a haul for you guys of everything that I've bought because I end up buying quite a lot. My skin is getting worse by the hour, please ignore that. Um, so yeah, I literally, I, like, I, I didn't buy anything for ages and went, oh no, like, I'm not gonna buy anything. And then I bought loads, I'll show you guys the bags. I'm just on my way home now. I will check in with you guys. Oh, I've got my mask on upside down. I only just realised that. Um, I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow because it's really late now. I'm just going to go home. I just relax because I'm literally so worn out. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'll show you guys everything that I bought in a little mini haul. So, hello guys. Actually, the next day now, sort of like the next evening. Um, don't know what I last, what you would have last seen. I think it was me coming home on the train. I was literally exhausted last night. Like, I literally just came home. I, I fell asleep but i just wanted to finish the, off the video and just show you guys do a little mini haul um mini it may be big ish of things i bought from westfield um just to show you guys what i picked up um honestly westfield was not great like they didn't have loads um even in sort of like zara and places like that they didn't even have like loads of stock a lot of the things i saw online they don't have in store um it seems to be like a running theme at the moment a lot of the stuff they have online they don't have in store um and it's literally just like killing the high street like i don't know like where that what they expect us to buy like they literally don't have any stock in the shops and another stock is like season appropriate either like none of it is like autumn winter loads of it's still sort of like summer and just it's just not great um but i did manage to pick up still quite a lot of stuff so i'm just going to talk to you guys about what i bought you know what is going on with this bit of hair it's so curly um so yeah the first shop i basically went into was wittars now if you guys know me um i'm obsessed with wittards like i literally I'm obsessed like it, I don't know do you guys even know what Wittards is I feel like everyone must know what it is it's like a tea coffee drinks 
shop like it's very like classic english like just that sort of vibe and they just sell the best hot chocolates and teas ever like the best i've ever tried so i had to go and stock up on some stuff anyway just things that i was missing in lockdown because loads of the loads of the not lockdown like loads of stuff that i just hadn't actually repurchased since lockdown and at the store like the last three times i went before today it was still closed the wittard shop so i couldn't actually go and like restock on anything until i went today i actually think it was open last time i went but it actually closed like really early like it closed at like four or five um so that's why we went there first so i picked up all like some of my just like favorite hot chocolates and also got some new bits as well so if you guys love coconut and you love white chocolate you guys need to try this this is literally actually to be fair you don't even need to like coconut so danny you guys know danny um he's obsessed with this hot chocolate and he does not even like coconut but this is the best hot chocolate you will ever have in your life like hands down i would love anyone to challenge me like this is literally the best drink ever um and this was actually limited edition i think from like one or two years ago but and i was like oh my god like it's literally going to be discontinued like we literally stocked up on me mom stocked up on so much of this um but they bought it back this year because it must have been so popular um and it is the wittard coconut white hot chocolate exotic coconut mixed with creamy white hot chocolate and it is the best hot chocolate you will ever have it's so sweet so creamy like it's just so it's just so nice and because it's like coconut it's a little bit more like not refreshing but it's not as like sickly i guess it's quite maybe it is i don't know if you're into hot chocolate literally needs to give this a try um i'm not actually sure how much this was let's see if the receipts in here Oh, my cat is doing something. Oni! Sorry guys, I didn't realise my cat was actually shut in here. Um, I just checked, I think this was £7. Um, which is quite expensive, but it does last ages. And like I said, your life will be changed when you try this hot chocolate. Um, I also picked up another hot chocolate, which if you guys know me, I love Turkish Delight. I love like the chocolate covered Turkish Delight, like the chocolate bar. And I also love like the really traditional, like dusted turkish delight like i'm obsessed with it so when i saw this in the new in wittard's turkish delight hot chocolate i had to buy it um i don't really know what this is going to taste like but i'm very very intrigued um and it is turkish delight hot chocolate flavor velvety milk chocolate with a hint of fragrant rose so it should be really really nice i'll keep you guys updated on how that is um, and this was nine pounds i think because it's new in, it's a little bit more expensive and then the final one that i picked up um was the peach melba limited edition tea um you guys know i love my fruit teas as well as my like hot chocolates coffees and like just like i don't know like milky teas um i think this one you just mix with water and it's more like an iced tea you can have it hot or cold and i love these i literally think i've tried every single flavor and i literally love all of them so i've had like the cranberry i've had like another peach one i think before it was like peach and passion fruit and they're just so nice it's sort of like iced tea like not even iced tea what is it bubble tea it's like the bubble tea like iced tea type of taste amazing like literally if you guys love tea and coffee and you haven't heard of wittards if you haven't ever tried out their products you need to try them um and then because i'm a member at wittards as well i actually received like a little um taster package which is actually really good because normally i don't get this much like ever i literally have so much in here so i've got some white hot chocolate tea very intrigued to try that i've got some mango and bergamot fruit tea like tea like loose tea um, I've got an Earl Grey tea. Oh, that's another thing. I think it's actually downstairs. I bought some Earl Grey tea as well. Because I actually used to have it when I was a little bit younger. And I, I was with Summer, like, the other day. And Summer actually got some from Starbucks. She got an Earl Grey. And I was like, oh, my God, I literally haven't had that for years. And it really inspired me to pick some up. Had that last night, and that was amazing. It literally sent me to sleep, though. Um, but, yeah, I got that as well. I forgot to include it in this haul. Um, and then I got a Bourbon os os Ospresso. <laughs> bourbon. Bourbon. Bourbon, oh, I can't even talk. Bourbon, bourbon espresso, notes of lemon and cocoa blended coffee. Might give that one to Danny because he's really into his coffee. Um, breakfast blend, medium roast blended coffee. Um, and then finally, I got peanut butter hot chocolate, which I'm super, super excited to try because you guys know I love peanut butter as well. Well, maybe you didn't, you do know now. Okay, guys, so if you've been, if you're new here, if you've been here for a while, you all know I'm a massive fan of Harrods Outlet. Like that shop, I, like you, like you probably already know. I can't go in and not buy something. Like every single time I go in there, I buy something. It's a bit of a problem. Um, and today, well, yesterday, it was no exception. Um, but I can sort of justify it because one, it wasn't really sort of a luxury price tag. 
um it was supposed to be but it's reduced and two it was something i actually really really needed um if you would have remembered me at the beginning of the vlog i said i really need some white heels didn't think i was gonna get them and we've secured the goods so i actually got these from harris outlet but they are kurt geiger um so yeah harris outlet they don't just sort of sell god i should literally get sponsored for harris outlet the amount of people that go there because they've seen like my stories and stuff is crazy um but yeah you guys should definitely go if you haven't already been i think it's actually only here till christmas which is so so sad because it's literally the best shop in westfield um at harrods outlet they actually have not just sort of like really high-end brands like not just sort of like chloe Givenchy, like all of that there's some like sort of like they're still luxury brands but not as sort of high of a price tag sort of middle brands sort of like kurt geiger um some ugg stuff like just that sort of like level of expensiveness um so i came across these kurt geiger heels i actually put a pair on my story that were more sort of like a flip-flop heel like a square toe and i was obsessed with those like they were stunning but they were not comfortable like literally even walking in the shop the little bit that goes in between your two toes was just digging in and i was like right if i'm gonna get some white heels i want them to be comfy i want them to last me like a few years um so i just think think they were the most sensible option um but then i came across these which are the style that you guys know that i love so that they're the block heel um they're sort of like an off-white they're not really like a true white they're more of like a cream color um and they've just got like a block heel again this is like the ideal heel height for me so it's not as chunky as sort of like a block heel all the way around which is what i really like as well um but it's like not too high and it's not too short so this is like the only heel that i can walk in by the way like on boots on anything this is pretty much all i can walk in um but these were so comfortable i love like the iridescent um heel as well it's a really nice little touch like it sort of like picks up the light in different ways um it's just got like the normal sort of squarish toe little um strap across the front and because they're like leather they're really really soft and really really comfortable they're very spongy as well my heel my black heels which you guys know that i talk about quite a lot on here were from kurt geiger as well i've had those for literally like four or five years now and they're still going strong still my favorite shoe so definitely hoping that these are going to go the same way um and then i also love like this tie detail so when i first saw it i was like mm, i don't know about how i feel about the tie detail like i love it on other people but you know like sometimes when your leg can literally like a sausage like strung up i i was envisioning that um but you can actually i think you actually are supposed to just sort of tie it around the ankle it doesn't actually go all the way up the leg so i just tie it sort of around the bottom of my ankle just sort of like a normal strap and it's perfect so it's quite long i guess you could sort of tie up the leg if you wanted to do that sort of look maybe in the summer um but i've just been tying it sort of around my ankles and yeah i love these they're such a good classic heel gonna last me forever and the best part was the price obviously so i got these in size 7 my normal size um and they were 139 originally and i got them for 39 which is super good like literally like cheaper than top shop prices so super super happy that i purchased those probably like my best find of the day i've literally found so much good stuff at harrods outlet so it's definitely worth going there if you guys want to look for a bargain if you're on the hunt for something because they probably will have it so next item um sort of already using it slash used it all day slash used it yesterday um it's a starbucks reusable cup now i saw in Gemma louise miles i think she did like a haul video um and she included it in that one i don't think it was even her haul it was like just a vlog and she just mentioned it and she said she like paid an extortionate amount for one because she bought it online she had to pay like import tax or something um i went to the starbucks shop in west or like the just the restaurant in restaurant cafe in um westfield and i saw these that they had there like the dusted um like the frosted reusable cup and these are only two pound fifty like i literally did not know they were two pound fifty um so me and my mum both got one each and this has been amazing like i've got lemon water not lemon lime water in at the moment um and I, it's just really encouraged me to drink like loads of water but you can put like iced coffee in this you can put normal coffee um because it's got a straw it's also really good for your teeth so you don't like get them like discolored so yeah literally just a fun little purchase i feel like it's actually gonna be a really good purchase so i feel like i need to buy more it's really good for getting you to drink your water if you do struggle with that um but yeah i think you can actually take these to the shop can't you as well and they can like give you do you get money off your order i don't know is that just is that still a thing i think they're doing like a sustainability thing where if you buy a reusable one you get money off i may be wrong but I'm actually really thirsty but yeah i got this two pound fifty bargain so guys next up we've got a big old victoria's secret bag um, I feel like I only ever really purchase Victoria's Secret in sort of winter time. Like I always just sort of purchase their pajamas, their underwear, just in sort of winter time. Um, but I was really sad to see that actually the Westfield um, 
Victoria's Secret store is actually closing down. I mean, I'm really upset because I absolutely love that store. I love Victoria's Secret as a brand. But yeah, it was a little bit dangerous because we had 40% of everything in the store. So if you guys are going to go to Westfield, you guys need to go into Victoria's Secret because there's 40% of everything, like every single thing in the store. Um, I like double check the ladies. Like, are you sure? Like, it's everything. So like, oh yeah, like everything has to go. So I mean great but not great because i spent quite a lot of money um but i actually really need to get a new pair of pajamas i think i actually maybe even said that in the vlog um so i actually have a pair of like the dusty pink victoria's secret just like the classic like i don't know what, what style do you call it it's, like just granddad pajama and dad pajama and i've had those for years they're literally the most comfortable pajamas ever they like literally just last like so well they wash so well so i picked up a black pair um just because like for fake tan and stuff i just really wanted like a nice black pair like really durable um it's just like got this like polka dot sort of like gentle gentle what am i on about polka dot like just subtle print um and then it also has like a v on the pocket i've actually really tried this one but i just put them back on to show you guys how they look before that little v i thought it was a really nice detail as well um, and I actually picked those up in a large, which I actually normally get the pyjamas in a medium. But I really wanted this to be like super oversized, super slouchy. So for a large, um, and it fits perfectly. It's really good length as well. So I'm like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, um, and it's like a really good length on the leg. So super, super impressed with that. Um, I actually don't know where the receipt is, so I can't remember the prices exactly. But I'm pretty sure, because these are like a silk blend, I think they're supposed to be like £91 and or like 80 something and i got them for 41 pounds which i thought was amazing like super super good um and then i also picked up another night sort of shirt um i also love like absolutely live in night shirts i live in them in just sort of like t-shirt versions in the summer and then sort of like long sleeve versions in the winter and this actually looks so nice you could probably just wear it out as an actual tartan shirt um i already tried it on so it's not done up sorry guys but it's just like this really big oversized sort of like a very pale pinky white black tartan oversized sleep shirt um i love these just for like throwing on they're so comfortable um they're just super snuggly and you just look nice as well like if you want to wear something nice to your boyfriend's house but you want to be really comfortable every single video i burp like it's so bad mom said this the other day we we're watching like all my videos i think every single one i burp they were all good um but yeah i'm obsessed with this it's super super nice it's just like a nice like light cotton probably better to wear when it's a little bit hotter than like these black pajamas um just because satin as well i feel like i get hotter in satin as well for like a boil um so cotton is a little bit more breathable um i absolutely love this it's a really good length um it's not too short at all uh, i've got this in the xl i think this was actually the only thing that the only size they had it was like an xl or an extra small um but i wanted it to be super oversized and slouchy anyway so an extra large was fine um and this was supposed to be 39 pounds originally which i don't even think is that bad like original price for that um but i got it for half of that so 18 that's pretty, i'm really not good at maths um and then the final item I'm a little bit shook about like I literally am shook so I saw this hanging up like me and mum just saw this in like the pajama section hanging up like a really plain just like slip dress sort of like the type of thing that you would wear underneath like just I don't know like just like underwear like not even like a dress proper dress and then next to it the mannequin actually had it on this was like a game changer like it was the most flattering dress I've ever seen in my life um I'll just stop blabbing on I'll just show you guys so it's this gorgeous sort of, I don't know if it's going to pick up very well on the camera, the colour. It's sort of like a ch very light chocolate brown, sort of like, I don't know, what colour is that? It's like a very light, warm chocolate brown. It's like almost like purpley, but it's not, it's more like a plum. But it's not as warm as a plum. I really don't know what to call this, like a top? Don't know. Um, what do they call it on here? It doesn't even say um but it's really gonna not look anything if i hold it up for you guys to show you like you're not gonna get the full idea but it's basically like the softest material dress you've ever felt in your life um and it basically is like a midi length so i'm not gonna do a trial for any of these things i'll try and insert a website image if i can find one um it's just sort of like hits just below the knee and it is such a gorgeous like just like a midi dress you're really not gonna be able to see very well I'll try and insert a picture 
um and then also along the back this is what literally just drew me to this dress it's got like a really nice tie detail at the back which also adjusts the straps as well which means it's super super flattering for sort of like your boob area it literally like hoists them up and you don't need to wear a bra um and then it like really sucks in around the middle because where you like tighten this like string at the back like lower string it literally like really cinches you in i, I can't even describe i should have really tried it on to show you guys but like it literally it's the nicest dress i've ever seen nicest fitting dress i've ever tried on i literally can't get over it and then it's just got like this sort of like ribbed like corset detail down the front just sort of like two little lines which is super flattering i just i can't even fault this dress like when i saw it and bought it i was like mm, i'm gonna have to try it on high on at home see if it fits the same way as a mannequin literally i'm sold like it is the best dress i've ever had and they actually do it in black as well i'm gonna look online if they see in, if they do it in any other color as well just because it is so good like I, I could literally wear this with those heels which i just showed you guys that i bought from kurt geiger and go on a full-on night out or you could just wear it with like a nice like oversized shirt some trainers and just wear it in the daytime like it's just so versatile such a lovely fitting dress yeah that was all the bits i picked up from victoria's secret super super impressed um and i literally can't wait to put on those pajamas tonight and have my elbow tea right so guys the final thing i picked up is from house of cb i actually only own one thing from house of cb um this is my second purchase from there and i've actually been obsessed with this for years so if you guys know like they sort of do like those lounge sets like sort of like the unitards and then the really slouchy cardigans that you can buy over the top they do like a gray version a beige version um i was really looking for like a maxi oversized cardigan i'm not really sure if it's sort of my style per se um but i just really wanted to just try one um to see like how it would fit but i didn't want to like i don't know like none of the ones that i saw recently like in h&m or zara or anywhere just like really like had that really nice chunky cozy knit feeling um until i saw this one from house of cb in top shop in westfield um it is just the most stunning thing like ever it is the softest material you will ever feel in your life like it is just stunning um so it's just like a really big just like maxi oversized slouchy cardigan it's got really nice like little po not little like big pockets on the um on the sides it's got like really big slouchy oversized sleeves as well so it's super super cozy um, i actually wore this out today i just popped a home sense and i wore it and i literally was obsessed with it and i actually love this i love it paired with like just joggers and a little top with jeans and a little top with like a little dress and um, with like my little zara fluffy sandals with socks like oh, it's just such a cozy autumn vibe um it's really nice just for tucking on if you want to like look a little bit nicer than sort of wearing like a hoodie but you don't want to like go all out it's just like a really nice thing to chuck on so i do feel like i'm going to get a lot of wear out of this probably more than i even thought i would at first because i literally i saw it there guys i literally had it in my hand i was walking down to pay for it and i was like at, to my mum actually am i gonna get it do i need it i was like no i put it back like fully put it back on the rail i started to walk down the stairs and i was like i've made a mistake like i need to go back and get it ran back and it was actually like a lady was about to pick it up like she was actually about like she had she was gonna get it like she was gonna grab it and i was like sorry i just need that back and i literally just grabbed it back and she was like oh like, i literally i just ran down like i literally just ran down and i got it it was like one of those like it could have been one of those like miley cyrus is it a hannah montana film where she's like arguing about the shoe with tyra banks is that in the hannah montana movie i don't know it could have been one of those situations because there was only one medium left i've got some size medium by the way um but yeah um i got this in a medium and it fits really oversized so I probably just stay true to size i'm normally like a size 8 to 10 so it's got a normal medium and it fits perfectly um and this was i think it was 59 pounds yes 59 pounds i used to think those cardigans were like well over 100 pounds from house of cb but that seemed like really cheap i don't know like not obviously not really cheap but like for a really good quality cardigan it didn't seem that bad i don't know um maybe i just have a higher budget now so it doesn't seem like that bad maybe when i was looking at them like four or five years ago i was like that's a lot of money which i mean it still is but it's quite reasonable for a really good quality really soft cardigan which is going to last you four years so yeah that is everything i picked up from my little shopping trip um i really hope you did enjoy this video sort of like a little come shopping with me slash haul just sort of like chatting to you guys i'm really enjoying these types of videos at the moment so let me know if you guys do enjoy them because i would love to do more in the future as well um, as you would have seen i've literally i've not taken off the anna luisa have I? i've literally had it on the whole time i've had it on for like three days straight now um i'm just obsessed with it it's just like my, my new 
like go to go to favorite jewelry brand um so yeah don't forget guys you can use code bella s10 for 10 percent off your order um and i will leave all the details and the website in the description box so you guys can shop it for yourself because honestly guys i literally can't i can't recommend this jewelry enough it's just so so pretty like it's so stunning i literally can't i can't i can't so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, um, hit the bell if you do want to be notified when I next upload, and I will see you on my next one. Bye guys. Bye.